Hey there, Aries. Happy 4th of July to you. Appreciate you guys. As always, I will be posting my videos on Monday versus Sunday. I have to cover one more shift at work, so we're going to make it work. All right, Aries, what are we talking about? This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aries. This is for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries. Talking about Aries. What are we talking about? Got a toxic relationship here. Got some money matters. One more. I'm rolling the dice, so. Okay, so there's some kind of toxicity trying to come back here. Trying to bring a reconciliation here. Mm. Mm hmm. So. Those persons wanted to try to bring some kind of like trying to just bring a risk to, to come towards you. All right, now I'm getting another story. So. There's like some toxicity that you and another person have dealt with. And there's like an energy that is also wanting to, to come back around because they're realizing that this wasn't going to be something toxic. Like somebody has been trying to dodge relationships because somebody doesn't want to be in toxic relationships. And what's the overall energy for Aries? Discipline. So staying disciplined and keeping this, this, certain toxic ex for somebody here away there's like something here about you really enforcing boundaries with this this certain ex for somebody here you're in this energy where you can achieve and accomplish anything that you set your mind to and i'm telling you there's also another energy here that held back from something because they thought something was going to be toxic like something wasn't going to be good because of what they've dealt with in the past there was some fear-based energy that was trying to get in the way of this relationship here. We're moving through fear. We're not going to let fear hold us back anymore. Fear is an illusion. Punch it hard in the crotch. Fear is just what it is. Fear. It's built. It, it's equipped within us to keep us stuck. So we got to move through it. We got to channel it differently. Use it as fuel to power up. Aries. Growth of energy. And this is what happens when we move out of that fear. We we have power surges when it comes to our energy. It's like, boop, boop, everything's just up. And that's what you're doing. There's like so much knowledge that you have. Like you're a very wise person. Like if somebody comes to you for advice, you give good advice. And people just may reach out to you for advice because you're good at it. So and you're learning how to get rid of negativity. And this toxic energy that you've dealt with is clearly something that you're Go away. Get away. No more toxicity. That snake, it's like transformation. And you're understanding that snakes only shed their skin to become a bigger snake. Some of you guys, this could also be like toxic relationships with like family and friends as well. There's been a lot of toxicity that you've had to deal with in your life's journey for somebody here. Now we're learning to ground our energy. We're going to anchor fast down in the ground. We're going to just... We're no longer letting anybody um, hurt us. Like, we're fully embracing these boundaries. And oh, does it look good on you here? So, anchor down in the ground. There's something about keeping your energy firmly ground with some kind of toxic relationship here. Because somebody's past person is definitely trying to return here. And it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good at all. Aries. Perseverance. When I start a project, I have the perseverance and endurance to see it through. So somebody's definitely on some kind of goal-oriented energy right now. Stay on that path. Continue showing up for yourself. Continue applying yourself and continue just hard at work. That's what I feel like you've been doing. So you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. And that's facts. And you've done so much inner child healing. I embrace my past knowing that it has made me the person I am today. So some of you guys grew up in environments where it was toxic. And that's where all of this began from. That's why you tolerated this type of behavior because you've seen it as a child. So now we're going to dig in deep within our inner child. And we're going to piece apart things. And we're going to heal our inner child. We're going to be the person that we needed to be when we were a child. And that's a beautiful thing. And I feel like that's what you're doing here. You're embracing your path, your your past. You're wearing your scars with honor. You're no longer running from yourself and hiding yourself and playing small because people want you to be small. This is like stepping into your big energy and being unapologetic about it. Aries. Aries. Thank you. Look 
at the bigger picture. Could have strong Sagittarius placements or you dealt with a Sagittarius here. But this is you just looking at life differently. You definitely got this past person that's not so good trying to, to figure out how to get back into your energy here. And then this other person I'm picking up on, this person's now looking at the bigger picture on what this relationship, the potential that this relationship would have had. You're showing the world the real you. And I'm telling you, that's that unapologetic energy that you are manifesting right now for yourself. Like you're, you're, you're beautiful. Could have strong Aquarius placements or they have strong Aquarius placements. Either one of these two people that I'm picking up on right now. You're showing the world the real you. And oh, it's a beautiful thing. So keep showing up for yourself. You're beautiful. You're welcome. I just heard someone say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> a personal issue reaches resolution. Could be done with a cancer. Have strong cancer placements. So there's some kind of personal goals that are coming to resolution. And this is also when we get hit with certain things in our life. Because life be life. And, you know, we can't stop it. So... We're going we're gonna to change things up. We're not going to use old ways and old thinking to clear up problems. We're going to bring those problems towards us, and we're going to move differently through those problems. So that's what I'm also getting off of this as well. you got a lot of personal endeavors that are just coming to the forefront and just goals being smashed for you. So much personal goals that you've been achieving for yourself. Let me get one for um, Aries. Aries. Call your energy back to you. Make sure that you're always pull, calling your energy back. I call my power back to me. I do not give anybody any permission to siphon my energy. And I return any energy that is attached to me back to its sender. Wrapped in light and love because we're better than that around here. So just make sure that you're just protecting your energy and bringing your energy back towards you. Stepping into this full power and your aura is shining so bright right now. You're not letting anything deplete you anymore. And that is also bringing so much glowing energy your way. Like your aura is very... I just heard a purple aura. Someone might have a purple aura, a white aura. But there's something about your aura that's very magnetic. The things that almost broke me were, were the things that most awoke me. That's stepping into this resilience energy. Appreciating self. Appreciating these hard lessons that you had to overcome. You're, you're very strong. Look at that. It's that. Not... not why me? Be like, try me, mother effer. Try me. That's that's the energy that you're exuding or you need to be in. The things that broke you down are the, what's made you the greatest that fully brought you into your full potential. So those harsh lessons were needed for you to turn into the powerhouse that you are at this time. Think about this toxic relationship. So there's definitely some kind of toxic person trying to come back. And then what, other, what, what I'm getting otherwise is... Somebody thought that something was going to be toxic and they were afraid to commit because they've been through toxicity. It could have been you, them, both of you. Let's talk about toxic relationship. Got somebody here observing you closely. So for the where this person's severely toxic to you, you've got this person like keeping like a very close eye on you. This is this toxic past person knows that they they like to trigger you. They like to do anything that they can to, to keep control over you. Don't let them do that to you. This is the type of person that will purposely start little petty fights and arguments and just start a fight with you and then they'll leave the house and then they're going to messing with other people. That's what your past person likes to do. You're not missing anything with this past person. They like to keep you in fear. They like to keep you in doubt. They don't they, they purposely do things to keep you stuck. Don't let them do that. And then this other person I'm picking up on. This past person was like been observing you as well because it's, it's this past person thought that this was going to be something negative and toxic. That's why they pulled their energy back. But this other person's been observing you this whole time as well. Tell me more about toxic relationship. A lot, some of you guys definitely grew up in environments where there was like you watched your parents yell and fight and throw things at each other and just use anger to solve things. That's where this we talk, that's why we tolerate this behavior because our inner child is screaming out. That's why healing is so important. This past person likes to use, for some of you, this toxic past person likes to use money and things to try to control you as well. It was anything that this past toxic person could do to keep control is what they did to you. This other person I'm picking out, picking up on, abandoned ship because... They don't want to have to go through something like they did in the past. Like they don't want to 
experience and deal with that drama because they've dealt with some kind of toxicity as well. Your past toxic person for someone here likes to use silent treatment and make you feel abandoned and wanted you to be like needing them and wanting them and you're done. Like you've, you're you being called to leave this toxic past person in the past for good because that's where they belong. You've learned everything that you need to from this toxicity. And there's a choice. Go backwards with this toxic person or let this person that's realizing that this wasn't going to be a toxic come towards you. This person is realizing that they judged this connection wrong. They were judging this connection off of past pain that they have dealt with. Your toxic past person here has like been at a crossroads because they thought they had you stuck at a crossroads Why you're going down your path of enlightenment and healing. They thought that they would be able to, to play these old games and keep you stuck, but they while they were off with someone else, you were healing and you turned into that powerhouse. And then this other person was stuck at a crossroads because they were having flashbacks of what they encountered with their own personal life. That's why they pulled their energy back. Betrayal, heartbreak, pain is what you've dealt with. And this other person that is realizing that this wasn't going to be toxic. And then this toxic past person for somebody here got some kind of sick pleasure off of breaking you down. Like they enjoyed, enjoyed you. They enjoyed making you cry. Like this is the type of person that got off on your pain. That's disgusting, man. You've healed so much. You've healed so much trauma. All the way down to that little inner child of yours. Your inner child's so happy for you right now. Very proud of you. Admires the person that you are today. Your inner child's looking up at adult you. And they're like, my gosh, I love, I love me. That's what your inner child's thinking. No more emotional manipulation with this toxic past person because that's what they like to do. Somebody definitely grew up in a very emotional, manipulative environment and it stemmed from childhood. For sure for somebody here. This toxic past person is trying to figure out how to come towards you. This other person really started thinking about their old life and they, they, they didn't want to go through that again. That's why they jumped ship. They thought this was going to be something toxic. So you could have triggered this person. You could have brought up like a trigger in this person that made them think that you were going to be like what they dealt with in the past, but they're realizing that you're nothing like that. Like you, you purposely triggered this person so they could become more aware. Either you realize you did it consciously or subconsciously. You so I'm getting chills. You certainly triggered this person and they're reflecting now because of that. So you made an impact. You made change there. That's a beautiful thing. Talk about finances. So a lot of you guys had some money blocks. Somebody definitely liked to, to, to control somebody with money here. Like this toxic past person definitely liked to do anything they could to control. And then this other person has dealt with some kind of manipulation and control. They could have like dealt with if it's a masculine that's worried that this was going to be toxic. They dealt with some kind of Jezebel energy that used them for money and, and would do like lusting things to keep this person stuck like this. A feminine energy really warped the mind of this masculine energy that thought that this was going to be toxic. So that's for somebody. Talk about finances. Five of Wands. There's definitely some kind of like restriction from the past that you are clearing up here when it comes to your money matters here. You are telling your... Okay, so your inner child has been telling you for so many years of your life that you weren't good enough to achieve something. You weren't good enough to have something. And you are, you are more than, you are more than beautiful and blessed to have whatever you want for yourself. So that's what trauma does to us. It tells us that we can't have things when we can. So that's why healing is so important. So, and then you, and then this toxic connection that you dealt with or this other person dealt with, this is the type of energy that also would tell you that you couldn't achieve anything. That, that It's like a dream killer that you've dealt with. So because you've been getting rid of these, these, these connections, these distractions with this toxicity, you are lifting up some kind of financial restriction off of your money here.
this now a lot of you guys your finances are on the come up because you left something toxic behind and this toxic past person doesn't like that you're flourishing and thriving this is the type of person that will purposely come back and try to deplete your finances because they feel like they can keep, continue to keep control on you don't let them do that to you you've taken inspired action to work on finances for yourself like you're very driven very passionate like you've sparked a lot of passion with inside that light inside of you that lay dormant because of the toxicity that you've dealt with you're evolving into this empress energy this past this person not the toxic one the other one that i'm picking up i thought that this was blah, that that blah, 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 blah. this other person that thought that this was going to be something toxic they are realizing that you are something of high value that you value yourself you value your time you value what you work on and they seeing this about you this person may have had some something that they've had to fix within their finance that finances as well they technically could have somebody toxic on their end as well that they've had to like release and move through to to come door back towards you this is just you having this inner knowing that you're meant for more. You're destined for more. This person, not the toxic one, thought that you were coming towards them to, to, to use them, to take from them because they've dealt with this before. And then you, somebody's toxic past person is trying to come back because they're, they're trying to like tear down your financial wins here. I don't like that for this toxic person. Tell about roll the dice. Bring that back out. Thank you. You're in this independent, self-sufficient energy. Flourishing, thriving, looking good, feeling good. And the energy is matching what you're putting out. That's beautiful. Stay in that for yourself. This person is realizing, not the toxic one, they're realizing that they want to take this, this leap of faith. They're, they're willing to lead by faith. They thought that this was going to be something not good, and they're realizing that it wasn't. It was going to be something healthy for them. Tell me more about roll the dice. And then this toxic past person is seeing you in your glory as well. Seeing you do some things for yourself. Seeing you achieve things. Just seeing you win at life. That's why this past person is strategizing on how to come back towards you. But this toxic past person, is they, they a control freak. You ain't missing anything with this person. So this toxic past person is hearing about your good news. They're seeing how much hard work that you've done. They're seeing something about your monetary gain. And then this other person is also seeing you have wins, seeing you celebrate yourself, seeing you achieve things for yourself. This new, this person coming towards you, they see the hard work that you've done. It's almost like this person is realizing that you also had to pull yourself out of something dark as well. They're realizing the, they're realizing the way why your behavior was the way it was and they're also realizing about their own behavior as well and that's the beauty of coming across people that have good hearts we we affect them we we trigger them we want them to change and this person is like doing that because you you came in and you shook them up ten of swords this person's realizing that you weren't going to hurt them that you didn't have like any bad intentions towards them this toxic past person is, they are not doing well wherever they're at. And they are like experiencing endings. And it's like that this person's mad that they're experiencing endings. So it's like they want to like come in and tear down what you've made good for yourself. Don't let them do that. I don't like this toxic person I'm picking up on. This person, this not the toxic one. This person's coming towards you quickly now they took off and they ran because they thought this wasn't going to be something good like it was not you triggered them so they ran it triggered up it triggered some kind of like something dark that they've dealt with that's why they ran so this toxic past person though is definitely trying to come in and apply pressure trying to like i wouldn't even let this if you don't have to talk to this person i wouldn't even talk to this person because this is the type of person that if you even argue with them, they think that they still got you where they want you. Don't don't let them have power over you. You are staying committed to your path. You took your own risk and showed up for yourself. 
went towards goals, look, looked at your life in a whole new meaning and wanted this dream life for yourself, realizing that it's not a fantasy and that I can have whatever I want in life. And you can. You've just been told that you can't. You got this person heavily thinking about you, watching you, not the toxic one, watching you, like watching you stay committed on your path, watching you change things up for yourself. And they, they like that what they're seeing. You're, you're giving this person some inspiration. And then this toxic past person is ooh very cold and abrasive. Just do. They're trying to figure out the right words to try to like manipulate their way back in. And then if they don't get their way, they fought, they start a full blown argument with you. Yuck. Tell about reconciliation. Got this person watching you in the background. Got this toxic person also observing you, watching your blessings. So you're just people like you got both these energies are just one of them watching these blessings come in for you. Tell me more about reconciliation. So this person is realizing like they, they're realizing that if they don't come towards you and make a move, they're going to be regretful because they know that you have good intentions towards them. They, they're, they're wanting to invest in this. They're wanting to do this. But this person is like, this person may still have some more things that they need to release to get out of their own way because of the toxicity that they've dealt with. And also what I'm getting to is that this toxic past person that's trying to come back for somebody is going to try to like, this is the type of person that will cry. Like it's almost like they'll, they'll try to manipulate you and then that doesn't work. And then they will try, they'll start crying tears to try to manipulate you that way. And then that doesn't work. Then they go into full blown anger. So I wouldn't let this toxic past person near me. Your toxic past person sees your investments. They see what you're doing with your life. Toxic past person is very manipulative, very dark. And this other person's realizing that this wasn't an illusion, that this that you were who you said you were, that you had good intentions towards them. This toxic past person is trying to come back and do and say whatever they can to win because it's all about winning and keeping control with this toxic person. This other person is realizing that they're like a sabotaging energy. So it's almost like this person's having some light bulb moments reflecting on their own behavior due to their past and what they've dealt with. And they're wanting to come towards you and take action towards you. Like this is somebody that is very, very tempted by you. They find you very alluring and they just, they cannot stop this magnetic pull that they're feeling towards you. I've got air, fire, Gemini, earth, earth. What is that? Air, fire, water, earth, fire, earth, fire, water, and earth here. There's something about, okay, there's a lot of wands and earth here. So what that tells me is that you learning to anchor your energy and like grounding this energy so you don't get triggered with this angry energy because this person also benefited off of you getting angry. So it's almost like this person would like to get you upset where they point and they jab and jab and jab at you and then you would react and then they would like point the finger and try to make you look like something that you're not. That's also emotional manipulation and it's also called reactive abuse. So you got this person trying to come back and reconcile and this dark person as well. There's that magnetic attraction that I was feeling with this person that can't, they can't stop feeling the way they feel for you. And this other person, this toxic, we'll call them an a-hole because that's what they are. They're coming back with the mask on, trying to deceive you. And then this other person thought that you were wearing a mask and that you were going to deceive them. This person's learning to trust their intuition. They wish they would have... Because it's almost like this person knew that you did have good intentions, but someone could have gotten their head or they just self-sabotaged because of what they've dealt with. They're learning to trust their intuition. So this person could be trying to like reach out to you like they could like trying to, to bring some courage to, to communicate. Like this person could have a couple beers or something for themselves, but to reach out. But some of you, this toxic past person could try to reach out to you under the influence as well. And you've healed. You've brought healing to this person that's meant to come back towards you. So you inspire change within this person, and that's a beautiful thing. And your toxic past person for somebody here is just going to have to deal with the fact that you've healed and outgrown them. 
So I wouldn't let this person have access to me. Aries. You want a loyal companion. This person thought that you really triggered this person. That's why they ran away. They thought that this was going to be toxic. So you're learning how to show up for yourself. You're realizing how can I be a better me? How can I, what do I need to change? What am I not tolerating anymore? Like this is like really becoming your best self to be also your best self for someone else. And because you're doing that, you're attracting that back towards you. You've got this loyal person coming towards you. This toxic past person tried to make it seem like they're loyal, but they're only, they just want control. That's all this toxic past person wants. Tell me more. This person's realizing that this is worth coming in here and, and making right because they knew that you had great intentions towards them. I wouldn't fight with this toxic past person, like, because they, they get off on that. They use that as fuel. Tell me more. Oops, let me grab that. So you got this person looking at your photographs. So you could pick up on this person like in your energy because they're looking at pictures of you. Could be both of these energies for somebody here, this toxicity and this other person. Tell me more. There's some kind of outside influence is also trying to get in the way. So if I felt that this person let other people get in their mind about you as well. And that also induced panic within them. Your toxic past person also likes to influence everybody to look at you in a bad lighting and that's just F them. F what they think. So tell me more. And you're developing into your your like you went through an awakening already. So there I, I'm not sure how many levels of awakenings we go through, so just embrace them. Um you put this person through some kind of awakening that's coming back around for you. Breaking free and you're blooming. You've been learning to connect with your higher self. And that is like lifting restrictions off of like your manifestation abilities when it comes to money matters and matters at the heart for yourself. Tell me more. The person's, I can't make this stuff up. This person's realizing something about you now. They're absolutely realizing you've been having your own light bulb moments go off within your own life. Like this is like light bulb moments when it comes to your pain. Like this is like, Seeing the pain for what it is, realizing where the pain's coming from. So, and just realizing who you are and what you can achieve and do with your life as well. This person is also having light bulb moments about their own behavior. You got them reflecting, and they're also realizing that you meant well towards them. Tell me more. And you've had to give up your old life to get to the new life. And this is what you're doing. And this is why you're coming into full alignment with who you are and what you can achieve. That's beautiful. This person that's coming back around, they very well have some things that they've had to like release on their end as well. That's why everything played out the way that it did. This person's got you on a pedestal watching you do your thing. You, you're loving yourself, flaws and all. We wear our scars with honor around here. We don't hide them. We acknowledge them and we use them as inspiration for ourselves and for others. And that's a beautiful thing. This person may have thought you were out of their league or they could have thought you were out of their league or then it just some other person's opinion could have thrown that on that as well to cause more fear. Drama. Unpredictable. So somebody's realizing that all the drama that they tried to do it isn't working. And there it is again. This person's coming towards you and taking a risk towards you. They're realizing that this wasn't as risky as what people were saying and what they were telling themselves. This person was guarded and blocked off emotionally and they weren't ready to receive you. There very well was some other things that you had to release with your own emotional blocks as well. And that's what you're doing. And you're now lighting the way for this person. You're setting an example. You're leading by example. You're the light of this person's life. You came in and you turned the light on in this person's vessel, I want to say. You turned it on for them. And they're seeing it. You turned your light on for yourself. And now you came in and you shed light on this person shed light on their ways their behavior because of what they've dealt with in the past and a lot of you guys this is stemmed from childhood aries 
Ignore this toxic past person that is loud and clear. Ignore any type of hater. Ignore anybody that tries to get in the way of your growth here. This person is also needing to learn to ignore haters that are around there, that are in their ear as well. Tell me more. I caught it. Yes, I didn't want to have to reach it. So this toxic past person is still like, they, they still could, they could be connected to somebody. They try to use some kind of triangulation and there's some kind of toxic past person or just toxic person on this other person's end that I'm picking up on that is like trying to like do things to keep this person from coming towards you. Somebody's getting some kind of scoop on you. Somebody ran from you and now somebody's been watching and observing you closely. Tell me more. And you're over here hustling. You are over here hustling, making it rain, very career focused, very goal oriented right now. So that's that discipline energy. Stay in that for yourself. This person's seeing you do your thing. This toxic past person likes to steal things that belong to them. They like to, man, this toxic past energy, like this, I'm just, anybody's toxic past person, your end, their end. These are like thiefing energies that tried to paint you out as a thiefing energy because even your love interest, this toxic love interest from your past also try to defame your character and it's not working. This person's like got you on the mind heavily. Like they can't stop thinking about you. Could be dreaming about you. They're definitely fantasizing about you, daydreaming about you. This person rejected this because they thought it was toxic. I'm telling you there's some kind of karmic friends that were in this person's head about you. A lot of you guys dealt with some kind of karmic friends as well. So this toxic past person for somebody could have like made your friends, like pulled them towards them. They weren't your friends to begin with that they did all that. So that that was that was for your benefit that these people be exposed for who they are. You're over here dodging these bullets. You're protected from haters. We don't entertain haters. We're too busy winning and evolving. That's why this person ran from you. Just watching you for fake accounts is what this person has been doing. Even this toxic person for somebody is definitely like in the background observing you right now. Someone could have said that you caught an STD. Some of you guys, this toxic past person caught something and they're going to bring that to you. I would not let, I would not let this toxic past person near me. Somebody definitely tried to smear your name and make it seem like you had a bad reputation. Try to like, man, somebody really tried to throw dirt on your name. So that's a projection of how people feel about themselves. When you get to, to a point on your healing journey, you will also understand that about people. You're too busy winning. You are stepping into your power, fully embracing who you are, and oh, it looks good on you. So it's almost like this toxic past person tried to use like material things to try to control you as well, or if that's not the case, they try to control your own material things. Somebody's having car issues. Like, so it's like your ancestors are so protective of you, over you, they're not going to let any toxicity come towards you. So this is a type of, your ancestors don't play. Like they're, they're the type of ancestors that will put severe blockages in people's paths, whether their car won't start or somebody could get in a full-blown car accident because your ancestors don't play. Dirty offer. Somebody tried to make it seem like you were a dirty offer. Someone was trying to start some kind of drama, trying to get in the way of something for you competing with you, threatened by you. So there's definitely some kind of energy that was on this person's end that fed into the fear. Now, this toxic past person it got some kind of sick enjoyment off of like fighting and competing for or wanted you to fight and compete over them with these other energies that they were dealing with. No, thank you. Aries. Toxic environment, like toxic work environment. Toxic work environment. So some of you guys dealt with some nasty, ooh, some nasty old, I'm be nice, some nasty old hating energies in work environments. That's what you've dealt with. The, the gossip, the jealousy, the envy, the hate. That's what the, all these coworkers operate out of. And they project that onto you. This is like removing yourself from these toxic work environments if you can. And if you can't, this is like doing things differently. This is not 
entering in the gossip. This is like doing things to keep yourself busy and distracted from these low vibing energies that are around you. There's that ancestor that I was picking up on. Like your ancestors don't play when it comes to you. Your ancestors will do everything in their power to keep any type of malice intentions away from you. You're not to be played with. Tell me more. I just heard that's my baby. My baby has cleared up some kind of toxicity. My baby is changing things up and I want to bless my baby with anything that their heart desires. Oh, that's you got a solid ancestor here for yourself. This person's missing you. They're longing for you. Missing you, desiring you. Got this person in their feelings because that's blue. So that tells me that they're heavily in their emotions about you. Chapters are done with this toxicity. This is no longer rewriting chapters that have clearly are done and over with. Like this is new chapters being written for you. And you are breaking that chain. That's why your ancestors do not play about you at all. At all. Like you're not to be played with. You are the chain breaker of your blood and life. Tell me more. Got a clueless man that was clueless and let other manipulative energies try to get in the way of this. They, that's what they're thinking right now, that they were clueless to... They. It's almost like this person has just been like acting a bit naive, making it seem like they weren't like... It's almost like this person is in, isn't entertaining the drama, but they're also making it seem like they weren't invested into you. They weren't interested in you, but oh, are they? Tell me more. Drama. I'm telling you, the, the person doesn't like drama. I don't like drama either. I can't, I can't stand confrontation. That's why when somebody pushes me to that point, you're going to get dealt with, and you're going to see why I hold myself back so much, because I don't like getting that angry. So... So much drama that's been trying to get in the way of you. Tell me more. And now you're repelling this energy. That's good. This is this. Man, your ancestors are removing anything that tries to come up against you. I mean, any way. Any way that they see fit, they will remove it. Man. This is you just being gone like this person like it's almost like this person is being repelled by who they're around as well they're seeing the they're seeing that the the hating energies for what they are tell me more something about the inner inner teenager so the inner child is usually broken and sad and, and hurt the inner teenager wants to rage and and seek revenge and take revenge out on others that's why it's so important to also heal our inner teenager because that inner teenager can tear some stuff up. And that's facts. Could have been like even own children. Trying to get in the way of this connection as well. You are changing behavior for your children. Tell me more. And you're fully embracing your DNA. You're definitely changing things up of your bloodline. And it's very powerful. That's why anybody that tries to come up against you. It's not going to end well for them. Some people are learning the hard way for trying to come up against you. And you're over your balance because you're happy, exuding so much happiness and confidence in yourself. So much being restored because you are in this energy. You used to be this depressed energy. Embracing your isolation and realizing that you're never alone just because you are alone. You fully tapped into your spirit team. There is like some... Sad, sad energy that was hating on you. Could be, the, could be like friends, co-workers, this person's end as well. There's some kind of like depressed, sad energy that this person has internally. That's why they do what they do. And someone did everything they could to cause a separation. There's definitely like somebody has just been playing it safe by dealing with like a certain lifestyle like didn't want to connect and didn't want to like give up old ways because they've been doing things to protect themselves. They're focused on you. Like the, I don't care who is interested in this person right now. Their eyes are on you. And you're over here taking off, going towards new levels for yourself. Could be wanting to relocate. Could be planning. Somebody could be planning a trip as well. Aries. Divine mask on this. Watching you closely, I can't make this stuff up. 
person's observing you closely. This person's like been getting some information about you. Tell me more. Pride. Pride got in the way. You have pride for yourself as well. You're not letting anybody hurt you and make you feel like you're not worth everything that you want for yourself. Because you are. A lot of prideful energies have been trying to get in the way of this connection as well. Tell me more. Got this person's emotions all over the place. And then there's some kind of like toxic energies that are having meltdowns because the the dirty laundry is being aired out. That's facts. Tell me more. Somebody's getting some kind of clarity. Somebody wasn't wasn't ready to feel. So it's something about this person feeling stuck. And then there's some other energy trying to make it don't get stuck with that person that like this person panicked and ran. And now they're receiving some kind of clarity about you now. Tell me more. I'm telling you, the person's watching you right now, watching you at their breaking point, realizing some things about you, realizing the drama that's been around them, the haters that were talking bad about you, realizing it. So, man, the person's like at their breaking point for sure. And then somebody's toxic person, I'm bringing this up too, there's a toxic energy that's also at their breaking point, realizing that they couldn't break you down. That's facts. Tell me more. Exactly, you're releasing and letting go. You're, le you're just learning to detach and just surrender the outcome because you know what everything that's for you is for you regardless. This person's been operating out of some kind of sorrow and pain and depression. You brought up some emotions in this person. And then you've been releasing your own pain and your own things that you've been through. You've been through some sorrow yourself. This person was conflicted because they weren't wanting to like put themselves through this again. So they got conflicted and then other people were getting in their mind about it as well. This person's been holding back. This person knows that you're generous, kind-hearted, beautiful like a giver, caring, empathetic. They're realizing this about you now. This person's been holding back how they truly feel about you, but they definitely feel some way about you. So it's almost like, oh, it's almost like this person, like your beauty was so striking to them that it clouded the judgment. And, it, and, let, and there was like some kind of jealous energy that was hating on you because of who you are internally and externally, the way you look, tried to cloud this person's judgment about you as well. But it's all, it's all being directed back toward you. Aries. Live your life to its fullest potential. Let go of the need for approvals from others. Live up to your own expectations and nobody else's. No more selling yourself short. Keep moving forward. You've got this. And you do got this. If you are worried you don't have enough strength to move on, think of how much strength you are using to hold on then. Let me say that again. If you are worried you don't have the strength to move on, think of how much strength you are using to hold on. Then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. So just no longer holding on to, to outcomes that you can't control. This is you showing up differently for yourself and like taking full control over your whole life. So this person's realizing that this wasn't going to be something toxic. So, And then the toxic energies are being outed for what they are. Toxic. So... All right, beautiful Aries, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Monday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you guys. Light and love to you. See you Monday.